Okay, so free again. Uh, weekend's over. All the Americans gone home. Uh, the fun begins, boys. But uh, check this out. Yeah, kitty, 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 chapter, kitty, kitty, chapter, kitty, kitty, kitty. Look at him. As if you don't want to bring that little son of a bitch home. Look at him. Look at his pliance. He's a ginger, even freak sack. Genuine in wood horde kitty, trapped kitty. Every time. Yeah, you want a trapped kitty. But anyways, for again, uh, we got a bunch of bunch of sawing done. We dug out all the dry shit from last year that we, we didn't split because it was a bit too long for the splitter. So now we hunkered off a couple ends and we got a good pile going. So we're gonna start up the start up splitter, see how she runs. So we were splitting wood yesterday, weren't we, buddy? Mm, yeah, we were, yeah. And we seen this this one wasp, and I wish I made a video about it because he had his hammer caught in the in the piece of wood, and I tried to break him off, but his hammer was caught in there so hard that his body broke off and just left his hammer there. But I think that's one of them that looks really really close to him. Look, are you petting him? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he likes that or not. He's but fossilized. Yeah, I don't him, know which... what his problem is, but that is dick. He he got his pecker in there so hard that it, he went right into it. He's wedged. Yeah. There's another hole up there too. Oh, for exactly, those things are dicked. What is that thing? Drilling antler dicks. It looks like a giant wasp, but like a long one, like two inches long, for exact. Well, here's the unit here. Jalapenos piece of chite, but uh, I cobbled this engine onto it last year and stuff. So, for again, uh, we'll set the throttle up and uh, get the cigarette going and uh, see how bad she chooches her, even if she starts, probably, because it's junk. Okay, so you're going to want to remember to turn your fuels on because I always forget on these diesels because it's hit. They hit it. But uh, keep the pressure. useless so I'm gonna have to find like another tank with a good cap metal and weld it on there for because that's that's ridiculous Friggin' rates, way better than way better than accident, way better than accident probably. Big time. Oh, we're we gonna go feed that to the frog. Friggin' rates for her. That's lunch, bud. That's a neat piece of wood as well. It's good for the fucking cigarette tank. Yeah, and it's a it's a tasty snap for the frog. Mm. That is. Anyways, boys, it's friggin' tomorrow. I forgot about my movie for frig sack. I've got it's busier as frig today. It's gonna be the only friggin' nice day out this week, and I got a lot of stuff to do outside, and I, I got some mail. So check this out. So these plates here are from uh, Robert Anderson. I talk to him on Facebooks all the time. And uh, which reminds me, you should uh, go like my uh, One Pug Life Entertainment on Facebook there because my friends are all, are all plugged up. I got 5,000 and 
that's that's all they let you right but uh, check that out got california one big fan of the medicinal stone california washington friggin uh north dakota i don't got that one nebraska i don't think i got that one iowa and friggin minnesota i don't think i got a california one either but here's where we're at so far i got a few more i gotta put up still but uh not bad not bad so he doesn't want me to show you the letter because it's got his email address and a bunch of different things in it. But he says, I'm a big, big fan. Keep the bids coming on YouTube. Here's some plates I thought you might like for your collection. I do mechanic work, welder, fabricator, and I've taught myself all I know from, from doing jobs and teaching myself to work on cars and family and friends and this and that. And, and I do all this work in my garage. Hope you like the plates I sent you and keep the vids coming. Right friggin' on, man. That's friggin' awesome. Or that's like you know, a full cigarette of, of, of plates I can I can put up now, but uh, this is what we gotta do today, boys. Well, this guy off Kijiji says he wants to buy my friggin' wood stove and he's gonna call me later. So, in order to get that to St. Thomas, where I'm gonna meet this dick, we gotta get all this bull crap off this trailer in accordance with, well, it's, it's gotta go on the trailer, right? And I put the new friggin' trailer hitch on the old lady's van, so I'll probably just do that and uh, different things because I got big dumpies full of wood and big dirties hooked up and over there and different things, and we're still pissing around with that and stuff. And we gotta move this shit and find a home before it snows anyway, because that's gonna suck real bad we're trying to move that in the snow. But uh, oh look, there's a home right there. I'm speaking of home. Let's see if we can't find any kitties. I don't see any kitties in here. Uh-oh. Nope, not in there. Where's the kitties? Oh, look it. The kitties are sleeping. Look at him. Look at how frisky hims is. And he loves traptors. Look at him. Yeah, you do. So yeah, I just got a bunch of bunch of crap to do today it's just going to be bull crap but you know away she goes got to be done got to get that freaking wood stove out of my trapter shed because it's taking up like a whole trapter's worth of room in there so big big thanks to uh robert anderson for the plate collection there bud that's freaking awesome and uh junkstar builds and nine Beavis and butthead nine are putting up the vids about the big race and the weekend they had at pug ones and different things junkstar builds got a got a pretty good gopro shot of the big pass i made in the race and stuff it's freaking awesome yeah oh and i'm probably gonna get this uh this year welded up today i was gonna do it yesterday but you know seven things led to 14. The next thing you know we're filling the trailer with wood so freak sack but uh that's all we're gonna do make a little outrigger for the son of a bitch but uh i think i come up with a name for for this one because on account of its orange it's like the general leaf and the set hazards and stuff it's uh, the gen general cigarette yeah it is and I think uh, we're planning on uh, another big race. Junkstar and Beavis and Cigarettes are going to come back uh, probably before winter or during winter or something. I don't know, but uh, this is the next project. It's a little Sears, the Sears 8. I think I showed you before already, but uh, it's the smallest trapper I got. And this is the biggest engine I got. That's the one from uh, uh, Redneck Brian 1. But uh, I think I'm going to use this one in accordance with it's more, you know, the gubinator's already out of it. I just got to crack the bottom off, punch the rest of the gubinator out. And then we can uh, switch through it and then I'll, I'll do a bunch of work to this engine for another tractor. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go like solid one inch axle. Probably put the, put the axle right through like in here. So the axle will be like right under the seat and then it'll be as low as possible. I, like I want this thing like, you know, inch, two inches off the ground. Like this part here, two inches off the ground, tops. You know what I mean? So it'll be low and fast. That's what we're after. So I need a name for this. It's like a Sears 8, I guess. 832 Sears. Friggin' little tiny one. Need a name. But anyways, boys, I'd love to sit here and yammer on my horse shit all friggin' day long about my projects and my, and my, my horde and stuff, but uh, I just got, you know, nothing will get done if I do that. So anyways, friggin', uh, there you go. Check out all the links in the prescription and smoke a thousand cigarettes. So anyways, there you go. Another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Don't let the watchers get you.